Remote Ground Mount Plus is a system which enables an operator to mount and dismount a Moffett truck mounted forklift onto a transport vehicle without having to climb on or off of an elevated forklift. Due to the remote nature of RGM Plus, the operator should choose the most suitable location to stand when operating this system. It is the operator's responsibility to ensure that no other personnel are in the safe zone while operating this system. If the operator observes anyone entering the safe zone while using this system, they should stop the process immediately and resume only when it is clear and safe. Always wear the required personal protective equipment when operating a Moffett forklift. Use only an approved HIAB USA OEM mounting kit to transport your Moffett forklift. If for any reason the RGM Plus system does not function correctly, it is still possible to manually mount the Moffett from the operator's seat. Your Moffett is designed to be transported on the rear of a truck or trailer using a hook style mounting system with adjustable wheel stops. During transport, the weight of the forklift is carried by frame hooks resting on two hardened 2-inch two mounting pins. The 2-inch mounting pins create a fulcrum or pivot point that allows the front tires to engage the tire pads. The front tires act as shock absorbers against the tire pads as the forklift is transported down the road. Hitch pins lock the frame hooks in position along with additional slack safety chains. An electrical connection via a 7-pin pigtail between the transport vehicle and the forklift meet the DOT lighting standards required to travel on U.S. roadways. Each RGM system is comprised of three basic components, handset, receiver box, and a hydraulic specialized valve bank. Every RGM Plus system is supplied with two 8-button handsets which run off two replaceable AAA batteries. One handset can be stored with the forklift at all times in the specified area behind the rear access door and the other at the operator's discretion. Each button on the handset operates a specific function during the mounting and dismounting process. To save battery life, a handset will deactivate after 60 seconds if no user input is noted. The RGM Plus system uses a receiver box which is mounted in the rear of the machine behind the rear access doors. The receiver box contains all the electronics necessary to relay transmitted signals from the handset to the specialized valve bank. The specialized valve bank activates specific hydraulic actuator functions necessary for the mounting and dismounting process. To ensure singular operator control, only one handset can be paired with any forklift at a time. A simple procedure allows any handset to be paired with any receiver box. Refer to the operator's manual supplied with your Moffett forklift for specific pairing instructions. The RGM Plus system is automatically activated once the forklift has been started with the remote ignition found at the left rear corner of the machine. By starting the forklift at this point, this is known as safe start mode. During safe start mode, a backup alarm will sound and the parking brake will set automatically to ensure an audible warning and prevent any unwanted drive system movement. The handset button functions are as follows. The left horizontal arrow button retracts the forklift toward the transport vehicle. The right horizontal arrow button extends the forklift away from the transport vehicle. The up arrow button raises the forklift off the ground. The down arrow button lowers the forklift to the ground. The angled arrow buttons shift the forklift laterally in the direction the arrow points. The green button activates the handset so it can transmit signals to the receiver box. The red button deactivates the handset. The on-off switch located on the back of the handset turns off power to the handset. Always stage safety cones around the parked transport vehicle to warn others that equipment is operating nearby. Ensure the foldable underride or rear impact guard is pinned in the forward position. Enter the operator's compartment using the three-point contact method. Sit in the operator's seat and fasten the seat belt. Rotate the side guard down. Insert the key into the ignition switch. 
turn to the on position for three seconds, then fully to the start position. Release the key when the engine starts. Prior to the mounting process, ensure the forks are spaced accordingly and the mast is centered over the steering wheel. Extend the mast carriage no more than five to six inches and tilt the mast forward slightly. Slowly and carefully drive the forklift forward at engine idle and insert the forks into the fork opening until both fork faces make contact with the rear sill of the transport vehicle. Failure to ensure that both fork faces are resting against the rear sill of the transport vehicle can cause the operator to misengaging one of the frame hooks on the two inch pins. Turn the engine off and remove the ignition key. Ensure that the parking switch is engaged using the switch on the dash panel. Exit the operator's compartment using the three point contact method. Insert the key into the remote ignition switch located on the right of the operator entry step. Turn to the on position for three seconds, then fully to start. Release the key once the engine starts. Switch the handset power to the on position using the switch on the back. Press and hold the green button for three to five seconds until you see a green LED illuminate at the top of the handset face. Press the up arrow button and hold until the nose of the frame hook is just above the two inch mounting pin. The forklift will raise and the back of the machine will tilt up during this process. Release the button. You may need to use the left and right angled arrow buttons to center the frame hook between the hanger arms that house the two inch mounting pins. Press the left arrow button and hold until the throat of the frame hook makes contact with the two inch mounting pin. The forklift will retract toward the transport vehicle and you'll hear metal to metal contact. Release the button. The handset logic for left and right arrow buttons is set up for street side operation. For curbside operation, the logic will be opposite. Press the down arrow button and hold until the frame hooks rest on the two inch mounting pins. The forklift will lower onto the pins. Release the button. Be sure to retract the mast carriage fully to form an air gap between the face of the forks and the rear sill of the transport vehicle. Press and hold the red button on the handset to deactivate the handset. Store the handset at the operator's discretion. Install the right safety chain in the securement brackets provided. Install the right hitch pin through the holes at the top of the hanger arm and secure the linch pin through the end. Install the left safety chain in the securement brackets provided. Install the left hitch pin through the hole at the top of the hanger arm and secure the linch pin on the end. Insert the seven pin pigtail into the receptacle on the truck or trailer. Ensure there is a good connection as this pigtail supplies electricity to the transport lights on the forklift. Turn the key to the off position and remove from the remote ignition switch. Press down on the lower and go rocker switch adjacent to the ignition switch. Hold until the forklift completely stops movement. The rear of the forklift will rotate down and slightly lower. If applicable, close or cover the slow moving vehicle sign located on the back of the Moffett forklift. Transporting a Moffett forklift with the SMV sign deployed or visible can result in a traffic violation. Checking the functionality of the transport lights is part of the daily pre-shift inspection. Remove the right linch pin and detach the safety chain from the securement bracket. Remove the left linch pin and detach the safety chain from the securement bracket. Disconnect the seven pin pigtail cable from the receptacle on the truck or forklift and store safely. Insert the key into the remote ignition switch located on the right of the operator entry step. Turn to the on position for three seconds, then fully to start. Release the key once the engine starts. Switch the handset power to the on position using the switch on the back. Press and hold the green button for three to five seconds until you see a green LED illuminate at the top of the handset face. Extend the mast fully until the face forks contact the rear sill of the transport vehicle. Press the up arrow button and hold until the nose of the frame hook is just above the two inch mounting pin. The forklift will raise and the back of the machine will tilt up during this process. Release the button. Depress the right arrow button and hold until the frame hook clears the two inch mounting pins. The forklift should move away from the rear of the transport vehicle around six inches. 
Press the down arrow button and hold to lower the machine until all three tires are in contact with the ground. Release the button. Turn the key to the off position and remove from the remote ignition switch. Enter the operator's compartment using the three-point contact method. Sit in the operator's seat and fasten the seat belt. Rotate the side guard down. Insert the key into the ignition switch. Turn to the on position for three seconds, then fully to the start position. Release the key when the engine starts. Pull back on lever one to raise the forks slightly and pressurize the mast lift cylinder. This will allow the forks to clear the fork brace. Ensure that the rear wheel is pointing straight ahead and slowly reverse the forks out of the fork guides looking in the direction of travel. Lower the forks as low as possible, keep the mast extended fully forward, and drive away always looking in the direction of travel. If the transport vehicle is equipped with a foldable underride, ensure that it is extended and pinned on both sides while the forklift is dismounted. If necessary, adjust the forks to best suit the load being handled. 